What's up, YouTube? It's Metatronics. And Wifetronics. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, uh, this is some uh, Black Ops, obviously. And it, I think I'm using the stakeout again. Because, gosh darn it, I love that freaking gun. <laughs> I sounded like JD when I said that. We've been watching a lot of Scrubs yeah, recently. Yeah, we have been watching a lot of Scrubs recently. Turk! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so we were just sitting here talking. We were like, what should we talk about? And roller coasters came to mind. Well, we were looking at some YouTube videos of people and their reactions, riding different rides and stuff. That's and true. Just made us reminisce about the olden days. Yeah. Riding roller coasters and stuff. The olden days. Yes. So, did you do a lot of roller coaster riding when you oh, were a kid? Oh, heck yes. What kind of stuff did you ride? <laughs> well, so, so, growing up in Nashville... Mm -hmm. YouTube, I grew up in Nashville. I don't know if you knew that. Random fact. <laughs> but so, growing up in Nashville, there was Opryland. Oh, that was a nice headshot I just got. Um, oh, and look at this guy being sneaky. Or trying to think yeah, well, he wasn't sneaky. very sneaky. No. <laughs> Boom, headshot. That's right. Uh, so, so uh, anyway, growing up in Nashville, growing up in Nashville, um, Opryland. And I was homeschooled. And you all should be jealous, because Friday was field day. We had season passes, and every Friday, we went to... To the old Opryland, and I rode. I mean, I rode every ride. I don't think there was any rides except for maybe some of the kiddie rides that I was too big to get on. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think there were any rides that were like adult rides that I had not partaken of wow. <laughs> many times. And it was funny because so like we were there like every Friday, and people recognized us. <laughs> you were regulars. That yeah, yeah. And <laughs> there was no one else there like during the day on a Friday. And so we would ride the ride several times in a row and not even get out of the seat. Uh, They'd jealous. be like, do you want to go again? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Push the button, beep, and we're off again. Doing our loops and twirls and all that sort of stuff. Crazy. Yeah. Well, I, um, when I was a teenager, we lived um, in Fort Worth, which is close to Six Flags over Texas. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just watching my double kill. I just got there. Not paying attention. No. Yeah. Um, so I grew up in Fort Worth. And we were next to Six Flags, and we had season passes too, but I was public schooled, so I went to school during the day. All right. Um, but I guess in the summertime, we went a lot, and um, because it's so freaking hot in Texas, we would usually go at nighttime, and by that point in time, people were already tuckered out and had left, and so there weren't as many people, but there were still a good bit of people there. But um, I liked riding the roller coasters and stuff. Um... I always, I hate it though. I think, and this is just a female problem, I guess. <laughs> a female a problem. A female problem. But there was a few roller coasters in particular that would really hurt the uh, chest <laughs> regions. <laughs> Especially like there's one in particular that's in, it's inside and I can't remember what it's called. And, um, but it's inside and it's in the dark and it's, it was really nice because nice. in Texas, I mean, it's nice and cool because it's yeah. just a dark building. I feel like, and this is just the, the one in what, Dallas, right? Yeah. It's, it's in Arlington, which is Dallas okay. area. Yeah. 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 I feel like I rode that one because yeah. I went to that one. Yeah. It's really nice. Um, I have a crazy story to tell too. Story to tell. Oh, I forgot but about that. This roller coaster though, it has an abrupt ending mm -hmm. and you would just push on your chest and it would hurt so bad <laughs> and it really made it where it wasn't worth riding oh, it was it that bad it hurt that bad wow for me at least i don't know about other people but it hurt <laughs> a lot and so i was like i i realized once i got older like uh, that's just not worth it anymore <laughs> i'm not gonna go on that ride anymore <laughs> Uh, pre-puberty it was okay yeah pre, pre, well i mean i was i guess i was in, in puberty but yeah you know, i guess things got bigger when, uh, <laughs> when i got older that's funny that's something that i don't really think about as a guy nope <laughs> <laughs> i thought about i mean that ride was obviously not designed by women <laughs> right <laughs> but so uh well so there was uh, going back to the opryland thing though mm -hmm. there was a ride in in opryland that was called chaos and it was so freaking awesome. Was it chaos? <laughs> it was chaos. And it was like it had like this theme to it and everything. And we were we were like time travelers or something. Because there was like a T Rex. Oh. And it was still though, but they used like strobes to make it look like it was uh -huh. moving. And it was all indoors and it was air conditioned and it was like there were some areas where it was like literally cold. It would like blow cold air on mm -hmm. you and stuff. 
And it just, it was so cool because they would use strobes at the right times. Oh, and it was also all electronic music playing the whole time. They had like music playing. Mm -hmm. And so it was like the same track that would play every time you, you rode the thing. And it had like these climaxes or like, oh, the T-Rex. And then, and then like lulls where you're like swirling around the room and you can't see what's going on. There's just like random flashes That's happening. That's crazy. Yeah, it was a lot that of fun. That seems like... Um seizure inducing for sure <laughs> i think there was a, a warning in, yeah, like if you, you suffer from seizures yeah yeah exactly if you're sensitive <laughs> you're photosensitive or whatever i don't even know what well, that's called um speaking of that though um the big roller coaster that was out um and i don't know if it's the newest roller coaster at six flags but right it was big then was the titan which was goes up really freaking high in the sky goes down right and uh, but it has all these like g forces and things like that oh, right and i i've ridden it maybe twice just because the line was always so freaking long yeah um but the first time i rode it i almost passed out because you know when the bars come at you when you're going through the roller coaster? Yeah. I don't know why, but I always would freak out and like move my head because I I would be like, oh no, that bar's gonna hit me, <laughs> which is really I mean stupid because uh, like, you would think they would design uh, a roller coaster where you <laughs> aren't decapitated and die on it, but I still would move my head and because of all the g forces, like you're you, stuck and so right. I would try to move and it like made me try to I almost passed out basically. I'm sure you're cutting off blood flow. I, yeah. Like the veins in the size of your neck. Yeah. But, uh, so, okay, um, two things. The Six Flags in Kentucky, mm -hmm. uh, Kentucky King, Kentucky Kingdom or whatever it's called, uh, they would have homeschool day, and so we went to that one time. Mm -hmm. We rode everything over and over and over again. There was this one, it's a stand-up roller coaster. I don't know if you've ever uh, ridden a stand-up mm -hmm. roller coaster. I don't think I have. But they have, like, this bicycle seat kind of. Ugh. Under your in, in between your legs, but you're standing up. So if your knees buckle, yes, yeah, you have something to catch you. But they have like straps, and you're holding on, and all that sort of stuff. But you're standing up, and it was really cool. And I totally racked myself a couple of times, oh. the, like the first couple of times of riding, because the G forces. I didn't know what to expect, you know. Mm -hmm. Knees buckle, cram right down on Ow. top of that bicycle seat. Yeah, it was not fun. <clears throat> and then uh, Dallas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So they're with a couple of friends. It's a hot, hot, hot summer day. Mm -hmm. This this was how many years ago was this? This was probably what five or more. Oh, way more than yeah. five years. Oh, it's been way more than five years. You're we've right. We've been married for four years. That's true. So it's been way more than that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Ten well, anyway. Years, maybe. I don't know. It couldn't have been that long. Okay, continue with the story. Uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, so uh, we it's a hot, hot day. Mm -hmm. And every drink stand we come to, we're asking for cups of water or cups of ice, mm -hmm. whatever they'll give us. Well, so it's so hot that the ice melts almost instantly. Mm -hmm. And we are tossing water and ice at each other. Mm -hmm. Well, so we get in line for, I can't remember which, which one it is, which ride. But anyway, we get in line for a ride. My brother, young and not very thoughtful or it's not doesn't naive. Th yes naive doesn't think through his actions takes a piece of ice and tosses it well this the styles that this thing is like a zigzag mm -hmm. and it falls down and hits some some large hispanic man's child oh my goodness. and he starts cussing xander out and yelling and and he's like a level below us and mm -hmm. xander's just naive he's like yo what what's going on you know just like Yes, sir. You know, like peeking over. The guy swings a punch, jumps, and throws a punch at Xander. Mm -mm. Yeah. And he misses. Uh, but it's it's this ridiculous or like ordeal. We start like changing clothes. We had like jackets and random stuff. I don't know why we had jackets. But like Xander is changing clothes and wearing hats and running from a crazy Hispanic man. <laughs> he who... dons a mustache all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's funny because my brother now dons a mustache he does. and he's that's a very, he very the, hefty mustache. The mustache now is to, <laughs> yeah. so the largest big man doesn't come and find him. Years later. All right, guys, it's Metatronics. And Wifeatronics. <laughs> Hope you liked it. See ya. Bye.